Hi everyone, I am Bala. I am a physiotherapist. Uh, in this educational video, I am going to talk about vestibular dysfunction and vestibular rehab. Uh, actually, I am going to run down some question and answers uh, because most people when they are coming for vestibular rehab, they have some frequently asked questions. I am going to answer those questions today. So, first of all, what is vestibular system? It is a structure in the inner ear consisting of semicircular canals. You can see this one here. So these structures, the snail-like structure here called as semicircular canals and two little structures called as cuticle and saccule. So the whole structure is called as vestibular system. What are the functions of vestibular system? Uh, vestibular system mainly helps in balancing coordinated eye movements and gaze stability and people who are having some disorder uh, with respect to this system or any dysfunction can uh, have some problems with these functions. Uh, approximately 33% of North Americans over 45 years old are having some form of vestibular dysfunction. That is what the recent statistics say. And <clears throat> Uh, one of the causes of the vestibular dysfunction, uh, primarily the aging, of course, and then ear infection, and increase in volume of the inner ear fluid, and any other neurological problems, or head injury, etc. And what are the common symptoms of vestibular dysfunction? Uh, number one, dizziness, then vertigo, nausea, vomiting off balance or unsteadiness especially during walking or standing and fullness in the ear, tinnitus, uh, we call it as ringing and then uh, hearing loss for some people and uncontrolled jerky eyeball movements which is called as nystagmus medically. I can show you a little video about the nystagmus. So this is nystagmus. So the eyeball will be jerking in an uncontrolled manner so that is called as nystagmus okay and people used to always ask me whether it's necessary to have all these symptoms in my condition no so it's not necessary to have all these symptoms in all the forms of vestibular dysfunctions or vestibular disorders okay the next thing uh, what is the difference between dizziness and vertigo uh, I would say dizziness is an umbrella term, otherwise a common term. Um, for example, some people may have a sensation of light-headedness or unsteadiness or disorientation or feeling of fainting or a kind of passing out. So this kind of the, the description is called as uh, dizziness. Whereas vertigo is a specific kind of dizziness where people may have a feeling of spinning for example spinning of the whole room otherwise uh, a spinning of the whole environment that is called as vertigo okay so uh, vertigo is not a diagnosis many people think it's a diagnosis it's not a diagnosis it's a symptom mainly from the vestibular dysfunction but also from other neurological problems like cancer brain tumor or stroke or MS that's about the vertigo. That many people used to ask me, what is BPPV? BPPV is otherwise called as positional vertigo. Uh, like uh, sometimes when we change positions suddenly in the bed, rolling over the bed, or quickly looking up, or looking down, or getting up from the bed, reaching up to a high shelf to pick up something. So these are the situations we may get dizziness or vertigo. That is called as BPPV. So what is the actual problem in BPPV? So there are some crystals located in those small structures inside the inner ear called as utricle and saccule. For some reason, so the crystals will move out of that place and start to spin around, freely floating around along with the fluid inside the semicircular canal. That is causing the vertigo or dizziness. That is called as BPPV. Okay, so uh, what are the other common disorders that can cause BPPV? Uh, sorry, what are the other common disorders that can cause the dizziness and vertigo? Uh, there are other vestibular disorders which can cause the dizziness and vertigo. For example, 
uh, vestibular labyrinthitis, vestibular neuritis, or Meniere's disease. So these are the other common vestibular disorders which can also cause dizziness and vertigo. So what is the treatment for vestibular dysfunction? Uh, the treatment is mainly vestibular rehabilitation and medication. Okay, so what is vestibular rehabilitation? Vestibular rehabilitation includes a detailed assessment of balance, gait, gaze stability, and some special tests for testing the inner ears, and then appropriate treatment, uh, including some maneuvers and home exercise program. Okay, and next commonest question I always used to face is, what is Epley maneuver? Epley maneuver is a special technique we use to treat a specific form of BPPV, that is positional vertigo. At the same time, this is not used for all the forms of BPPV. And how this helps? This helps in moving the crystals back to the place where they are supposed to be in and helping with the symptoms. And some people used to ask me whether it's safe to do a plea maneuver at home. I would say no, because sometimes when we do a plea maneuver, the crystals may shift from one canal to the other canal and can make the symptoms worse. So I would not recommend patients to try this particular maneuver at home. So uh, who can do vestibular rehab? Any healthcare professional who is trained in vestibular dysfunction and rehab, for example, general physicians, neurologists, ear, nose and throat specialists, physiotherapists, registered nurses, nurse practitioners, uh, yeah, any healthcare professional who is trained in this particular area can do this. And if you have any questions, always you are most welcome to contact us through email or telephone. We are always happy to help you. Thank you so much.